Hey guys, it's Becky Bamboo. It's Tuesday, January 4th, 2011, and it's 10:13 uh, p.m. We just got home from the gym. Um, another like two-hour night at the gym, which is good. Um, I completed week two, day three, couch to 5K. Um, I know, I know, I know. I did week two, day two yesterday, and week two, day three today. <clears throat> Not recommended. I get it. But um, I really wanted to get back on kind of this other schedule that I like to um, do Tuesday, Thursday running. It just seems to work better. Um, I don't know why. It just It's a lot easier. So um, anyway, did that. <clears throat> Had really um, fairly minimal trouble with um, the Couch to 5K part. Uh, definitely at the end of my 90-second jogs, I was out of breath. So, um, so many of you comment on my, um, video from today and I wanted to thank you. And, um, I actually, um, when I was done with my, um, couch of 5k and I did my cool down and everything and I decided to, um, kind of test the waters just to see, um, what I could, could I run for longer than that? Could I jog for longer than that? If I slow my pace down. And, um, so anyway, um, the track at our, at our Y is, uh, 13 laps is a mile. Isn't that right? Thir yeah. 13 laps is a mile. So I started off and my goal was when I started jogging, um, I know I've got three minute run coming up in the next, um, for week three. And so I thought, okay, well, my goal is I'm listening to my iPod and I'm going to run the length of one song. Because I, I think that that could be, you know, fairly close to three minutes. So, I, I really don't know. I need to look up the song and see how long that song is. But anyway, um, I started jogging and I, I was kind of thinking in my head, I wanted to run the length of the song but also run two laps um, consecutively. And uh, in, my, in my 90-second runs, I would do like a lap and oh, I don't know, maybe an eighth or something like that. So I wanted to try to do two full laps. Well, slowing down my jogging definitely helped with the breathing aspect. So whoever recommended that, um, I actually didn't read that. I think it was Andrea, Lap Band 23. I didn't read it until after I was done, but um, that's definitely that's definitely going to work. Um, I, so I slowed down my jogging and um, really focused on making sure I kept breathing and um, just... Um, I got really into my music for that, for whatever reason. And, uh, so I did two laps and I'm like, oh, I still feel, you know, I feel pretty good. I think I can just keep, keep this pace and do more. So I ended up doing five laps. And when I was done with the fifth lap, I know I could have went further, but at that point I was kind of, um, I was through the whole song plus into like partway, probably halfway into the next song. And so I was like, okay, well, I don't really see the need to push this anymore tonight. Um, I've already done my couch to 5k. I knew I was going to go lift weights. And so I just thought, okay, I'm just going to stop. I did five laps. So that was like just over, what is it? Over a third of a mile. Yeah. Right. So just over a third of a mile. And, um, that's exciting to me. A third of a mile. I jogged tonight straight without stopping. Um, <clears throat> I'm really, really excited about that. So, um, I'm going to be pretty excited about Thursday's workout for, um, week three, day one. Um, which is the, I think I talked about it earlier, it'll be a five minute warm up, 90 seconds of jogging, 90 seconds of walking, three minutes of jogging, three minutes of walking, 90 seconds of jogging, 90 seconds of walking, three minutes of jogging, three minutes of walking, and then five minute cool down. So um, it's definitely going to be stepping up a level because um, the longest I've jogged at this point was, well, really tonight, whatever I did tonight. I, I didn't time it and I kind of probably should have just to have a better idea of how long I really was going, but... Um, I know I felt fairly comfortable at the end of five laps. I actually felt comfortable enough that I think I could have done a whole mile at that pace, which is uh, mind-blowing to me. That's crazy. So, anyway, that's exciting to me. Um, I guess I'm, I'm not as, like, terribly out of shape as what I thought. I mean, you guys know. I've been working hard. I've been doing lots of cardio for six months now. Um, so I guess it's it, it makes sense that I should be able to, um, you know, 
to be able to handle this jogging and stuff. And I think I'm just still surprised at what I actually can do. And, um, you know, the extra I did tonight was just sort of to push myself. And I think that's the thing I wanted to share tonight with you guys is that, um, you know, it's this couch to 5k program is, um, it's definitely, it's not, it's not easy. I'm not going to say it's easy. Um, but at the end of it, some days I just feel like I, I want to push for more. Like I want to, if I could do one more jogging set, then that maybe gets me that much closer to the end goal of being able to run this 5k. So, um, anyway, that's, uh, that's what I did. I just pushed it a little bit further today. And I'm always so proud of myself when I managed to do that. That takes, um, kind of digging down inside and going, okay, I know I'm tired. My legs are tired, but I can do more. I got, I got to do this and I can do this. And, um, that's, what's exciting about, um, you know, the exercise and stuff. Um, and I'm just now starting to learn that. I'm just now starting to learn that I have more to give of myself in the gym than what I realize I do. Um, I don't think I got that for a long time. And I think it's kind of taken me to this point where I can start to have more confidence in my ability and my athleticism and everything else. So um, that's exciting. Um, uh, there was something else I was really wanting to tell you guys. Gosh, it just, don't you hate that? <sighs> Grr, now I'm going to be so mad. Um, oh, I know. It just came to me. Good. Um, it's official. Um, today was, um, well, I don't know if today's the first sign up day. I don't think it was today. But um, I got notified today that the 5K in May that I've been talking about, the registration was open for it. And they only take 3,400 people. And when it's closed, it's closed. So you got to get in while you can get in. And um, so I said to the hubby, are you going to do the 5k? The fat, it's called a, the fat ass 5k, which is hilarious to me. But, um, we decided we're going to do it. It's not cheap. It's $50 each to do it. But, um, it's kind of a fun deal because, um, you get the race and you get a t-shirt, but then it's also a street party in downtown Springfield, Illinois when it's over. So there's like, you get food and beer and drinks and I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff and it's a big party afterwards. So, I mean, what better race to, to do as like my first 5k is then the fat ass 5k it just seems so appropriate to me um so uh with much fear and trepidation i registered for the 5k and um i do plan on getting myself to the point where i can jog this 5k um i looked up on the calendar and realized it's 19 weeks away so i have 19 weeks to finish um couch to 5k uh, i am on i'm starting week three on thursday so I don't think there should be any reason why I can't get done with this in 19 weeks. Um, especially if I can stick to doing this three days a week and just hold steady with it for the next nine weeks or so. Um, it would be really, really nice if I could get it done in nine weeks or 10 weeks or maybe even 12 weeks and have a few weeks where I could just go and run 5Ks just to kind of get myself used to that. that that's kind of like my, you know, the goal of what I would like to do. Um, that way I have some sort of idea going in about how long it should take me and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm very excited. It is official. I will be running the Fat Ass 5K. It's May 14th. Anybody who lives anywhere near Springfield, Illinois and wants to come participate with me or cheer me on or just come and walk it or whatever, you guys just hit me up and let me know and I will get you all the details. Um, the race itself is only, I think it's $30 if you want to just do the race and get a t-shirt. Um, and if you want to come to the street party as well, then it's 50. So, um, it goes to great charities. The money goes to, it's all going to charity. And, um, I, the website gives all the charities. I can't list them off the top of my head. I, I don't remember them all. There's several of them, but, um, yeah. So anybody, I know there's some of you who are kind of in the, in the area. So, uh, maybe in May you can make a trip down and we can all get together and uh, do a 5k. Um, that would just be so much fun, I think. So, um, anyway, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'll check in soon. Bye guys.